So the deck plays the first panel. <laughs> the one I drew. <laughs> so now you're the judge, so you get to put down another card on either side. No, you don't draw. I don't draw. I use right. one of mine. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You draw at the end of each round. <laughs> Marty was right. <laughs> So what time do you have to you have to take off? Uh, this is gonna be getting. <laughs> might have to edit that part out. <laughs> How much PII can I possibly give out in one conversation? <laughs> Let's see. He lives. Right. His mother-in-law's name is. <laughs> and his son's name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, Gary and I just played uh, Joking Hazard from the guys who do Cyanide and Happiness. Um, happiness and Cyanide. No, I think it's Cyanide and Happiness. Isn't it? Yes. It is? Yes. <laughs> wow, I've been calling it the wrong thing for like... I've been, I've been watching them since like... Since they like debuted on DeviantArt, seriously, <laughs> you've been calling it the, the wrong thing and for like I don't know, like six years or something. Awesome, like that. at least since 2011. <laughs> Great. All right. So, in Joking Hazard, players play cards to try to make the funniest three-panel comic. The first panel of the comic is randomly drawn from the deck. Then one person playing as the judge adds the second panel, and everybody adds a punchline. The judge then decides whose punchline is the funniest. And whoever played that punchline gets a point. We played a two-player version because we didn't have three people with us. Uh, I mean, it's the same basic game. It's funny. It's funny. I liked it. Even with just playing with two people, it was pretty funny. I have to agree. Harry's counting cards. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> counting cards. I'm gonna win. It says high stakes. Choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure that they're going back in correctly so that we don't have to do oh. that like next time we go to play. Right. That one's right. for some reason flipped. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't need okay. to be working on that. <laughs> yeah, so so the game was pretty good. Um, yep. I don't have any issues with it, but we only played with two people and I want yeah. to see how it plays when you have more like I would not, love to try it with like four or five people. Yeah, it says a minimum of three. I don't even want three after having to play the judge alternating. I want yeah. to do. I want to get like uh, let's see, ten's too many. Ten would be ten would take forever. Uh, yeah, you don't want it to be like Monopoly. I would say. Well, even like Cards Against Humanity, playing with ten people, it just takes so long for a round to go. I think that six would probably be like an optimal number. I think that's a good like yeah. Because like you could play. You don't have to have a huge table to be able to play. Once you get, once you fill up a huge table, like that seats eight or something like that. Once you play a game with that many people, yeah. then it's it's kind of like it's your turn, or like yep. someone walks away to go get a drink, or like it's like where's well, the extra die? Like person number five has one, and I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't think you'd have that problems with this because everyone kind of plays at the same time. It would just take oh, forever true. to go through like each punchline. You yeah, know, if, you, if you had like ten punchlines for each comic, the, the drinking think, game, the drinking rules would be fun too. Like, I like so, what are the rules? Uh, there's a bunch of different drinking rules. One of them is ultimate sacrifice. If you if you play a punchline where someone dies and you win, you assign someone three drinks. If you lose, take three drinks. I think that that's worth it. That's like that's the risk and reward yeah. for that is yeah. like perfectly matched. Bottoms up. Whenever a character's ass is out in a comic, everyone drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one would get better as the game goes on. Learn to read. Any judge who misreads a card takes a drink. Oh, yeah. I would have taken a few drinks if we'd been playing with the drinking rules. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was, I mean, it's definitely would be fun with a lot of people with a few drinks. We... We ran into a few problems with, like... Sometimes we just had to discard a card because like a comic, there's, you couldn't make a funny comic out of it. Yeah. You do the same thing in Cards Against Humanity. I think it would be less likely if there was 
if we had more people. Yeah. You just have more cards. I, I know we're not I, reviewing Cards Against human, Humanity, yeah. but <laughs> the thing is, is like that was always my issue. Is that I, when we were playing that one time at the beach house, I'm yeah. like sitting there listening to the conversations. And I feel like everyone had, like, discards that they would, like, put down. It, like, yeah. Say there was a whole round where none of them were funny. It, that's That shouldn't happen in the game that's based on being, on being funny. Yeah, yeah, funny or ridiculous. Yeah. But this one, if you have enough people, I'm sure that there would probably be, like, three people would put down cards that perfectly match what, what the lineup was. Yeah. Or you've got uh, the judge who... Wait, is, is the judge in play, or is the judge supposed no, to be... No, normally the judge is not supposed to be in play. I think that that would help things out a lot, yeah. because they're the yeah. one that chooses what the order of the cards are. Yeah, that's true. So the so judge they, wouldn't be able to like plan... Like a dungeon master pro, yeah. or something like that, instead yeah. of... Yeah. Um, what we, was I going to say? We need to play that with a lot more people then. Oh, definitely. Oh, I do like it better than Cards Against Humanity, just because of the mechanic where you can like choose where to put the second panel mm -hmm. it's a little more i don't really want to say creative yeah but it is a little bit more creative than cards against humanity where you're just trying to make like silly answers yeah you you can like shuffle the cards around a little bit i think that being able to have that kind of control allows you to like make sense if you draw a card that you're like what am i supposed to do with this or yeah like that where's that yeah. fit in the whole lineup Throwing yeah. the orange person... Okay, no, for the, the people that can't see it, there's a blue person and there's a green person. In and almost every card. I drew one card that had an orange person, <laughs> so what am I supposed to conclude that with? Like, yeah. you can't end the joke in a way that makes sense, even though it was set up perfectly to be something funny. Yeah, sometimes it can be... Well, that's the other issue that we ran into a lot. Sometimes... You have a, a line that's funny, but the wrong character is saying it. Yeah. And you're like, I really want to use this because it would be hilarious yeah. if only blue was saying it instead of green. Yeah. Like, if green's saying it, it doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. So sometimes, it, I guess continuity, mm -hmm. I guess, is a problem. Yeah. But... When, when we try it with more people, we'll see how frequently we're in yeah. it, we run into that. Because we played, we played at a level that you're not even supposed to be able to play the game at. Yeah, it says um, at least three people, and we played with two. Yeah. So... Which you should have played it with a random player, a rando player, but I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I still think that. Uh, I mean, maybe that's the best way to to test the game is to put it out or to yeah. test it outside yeah. of the way that it's supposed to function. You know, when we, yeah, test the edge cases. Yeah. Yeah. When we played Save the Farm or whatever. We were <clears throat> we tested it, and then it's like uh, that it needs this or that or whatever. So we like gave the the monsters like a huge amount of damage points or whatever right. and like that yeah that was like outside of the rules so i think that we really uh, figured the game out in doing that yeah that's a good point um i don't know what else to say about it it's definitely <laughs> i can't remember the kickstart i can't remember what the other packs were there was more than just blast from the past and there's the generic Kickstarter one? Yeah, there was something... Like, I didn't even know that that came with it. I'm sure that they said, or if they decided, like, we've met this goal. I never went back to check oh. on the thing. Did it say? <laughs> Learn to read. <laughs> Ten exclusive add-your-own-words cards. Oh. So they're just but more write-ins. I don't... Maybe it's me. I don't... The, the idea of write-ins is cool that you can be as funny it, as you naturally are, but like I don't like the idea of writing I feel like most people aren't cards. naturally funny, though. Yeah, that's so true. So that's like, I hate write-ins in Card Against Humanity, too. Yeah. So I, like, that's why I like the card. I like the idea of this. Yeah. Because it gives you like prompts to make a funny joke. And I think having the write-in cards takes away from that a little bit. Yeah. So If, if you can't, if I came to like a point where I was like, I have a bunch of crappy cards and then have a write-in, yeah. I would probably use that. It would be nice if you had a write-in where you could also draw the line to which character was yeah, saying Yeah, that it. would be nice. That would yeah. save you in in your turn because, I don't know. Uh, we or also, even on all the other cards, if you could draw the line to which character was saying it, that would, I yeah. think that would help immensely. Yeah. You could have a lot more funny jokes that, that would. way. A lot more jokes that make sense rather than just like one character talking to themselves. Yeah. Um... Do you research one? I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I forgot mm. what I was going to say, too. Um. Oh, yeah. Um, very, very, very not safe for work. Oh, no, no, no. I would no. argue more, possibly more so than Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. 
Maybe because it's a visual game too. Yeah. But yeah. I, mm, I yeah. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring this to like some sort of like family get together because <laughs> that's not work party. Yeah. It'll get awkward real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Th th uh, if I show pictures of the of some of the setups, this video might be um, marked mature on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of those first few jokes were pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. But definitely, I mean, if, if you, <clears throat> I mean, you, you'd have to be expecting that, though, if you're a fan of Cyanide and Happiness. Yeah, if... You if, know what they do. If this was, um, yeah, this isn't something, what was that game that, uh, I was looking for a game back when we first started reviewing that was at Target, or supposed to be at Target, and I remember seeing some, it was either Cars Against Humanity or something like that that I saw on the shelf, and I was kind of surprised, like, uh, they would kittens? sell it. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, exploding kittens. Like, it was supposed to be at the store, but they didn't have it at my location. Right. And I remember thinking, like, that doesn't seem like something that would be offered at a store. Like, I, what I if a kid this picked it up and was like, hey, mommy, I want this or something like that. And, like, you yeah. get home and you're like, oh, my God, uh. like, this is this is not PG. <laughs> I, I, I saw this at Target, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I was surprised. They're... Target is getting a better selection of board games. Mm-hmm. But they're definitely mixing them in. Like, I see this in Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Mixed in with... with like, apples to apples. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and, like, Bananagrams. Like, that... Yeah. That's cool, but they should maybe be in, like, a different <laughs> section. I wonder how many complaints they get. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I, I remember they had the... a Christmas gift for my grandson. Yeah. <laughs> it was cute. It had, like, stick figures on yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, it was a comic <clears throat> format. Right. <laughs> well, no, Target's got that, um... Their exclusive Cards Against Humanity pack oh yeah that's yeah. that's something else that i saw there yeah like, that's that's funny too yeah actually yeah and i think that they had um we have taken oh no 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 they didn't they didn't offer the special edition um what was that one that we were just talking about the uh exploding, exploding kittens. kittens oh the nsfw they one didn't, yes <laughs> Then I read That's that I read that review that that person who had pre-ordered it received oh, the not yeah. safe for work version for their kids, <laughs> right? So they they thought they were getting the standard pack and they, oh, that that's was not awful. at all what I, what they that's got, awful. So, yeah, <laughs> even though the, the NSFW version of Exploding Kittens is still not anywhere near as bad as the standard version of Joking Hazard. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, it's like Exploding Kittens the NSFW version is just like kind of weird, gross. Yeah. Drawings of like overweight cats in bikinis. Yep. But this joking has right it is the gate. way different. <laughs> it's on a, it's on another level. I mean it was, uh, yeah, I wish we had taken the picture like when we first opened it up what the The one what was the on top was. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, I, I probably I don't got think I ever took, Yeah, I didn't take yeah. a picture of that, but like that was that that was perfect in that it tells you exactly what you're getting into. Yes. I if wonder if it's the same every, it, in every I don't box. know. But if you if you open that up with your family or something like that, you're like, oh, never mind. Yeah. Like, we shouldn't play this game. Let's <laughs> tuck this under the bed. Let's play Castle Panic or something. <laughs> uh, I'd recommend it though. If if you know what Cyanide and Happiness is about, and you like party games, and you're gonna play with adults, yeah, anyone over eighteen, <laughs> make sure that the person that you're playing with has a sense of humor. Like, don't well, yeah, don't definitely. think that like. Like, oh, I invited over Tim and Connie or something like that. And it's like, and, and Connie has a questionable sense of humor because she's going to go home and blog about exactly what she saw and, like, start a petition against this card game or something. Yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely, like, well, I mean, it keeps getting compared to Cards Against Humanity. But yeah. It is, like, a better version of Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. So, and, yeah, it, you don't want to play with people offended easily. Yeah, that's or exactly what I was going to you don't have, say. you know, a... A dark sense of humor yeah. I mean, there's there's cards in there about like suicide and yep. masturbation and pedophilia yep. and killing people and yep. it's it's <laughs> not <laughs> uh. good game I, I, good yeah, game it was, it was a good game yeah we'll definitely to, fun we'll have to provide feedback when we get more people together to play it maybe we'll yeah. do it after the fact and get everyone's commentary on it yeah yeah we could do another review that would be cool we could bring like the the yeti um omni mic and like you just get like a round table yeah talking about it that would be you fun. Have, is there like a device that like shuffles the cards not not like a not, card not, shuffler? not a standard one 
but like oh. one that you could set up so that it shuffles it between when you go to draw cards. Like say say it was right. like four sided or something. So you put the whole stack of cards in there and it just kind of like distributes it out to each person. Oh, you mean like something for like dealing cards? Yeah. I don't know. Should get on that. Yeah, I should go ahead and make it's the that. next product from Dangerous Games. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't have anything else to say about it. It's funny. It's offensive. It's fun. It would be great with more people and more and drinks. Some alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when we go to play with more people, we'll give feedback on the Blast from the Past pack that came yeah. with it. Yeah, we'll do. We can do another review. And, and we'll remember to bring dry erase markers since they didn't provide them, but you can write yeah. in your own stuff. Could you imagine yep. if, like, somebody wrote in on, like, one of those cards with, say... Like a Sharpie. A Sharpie or, like, a, a Bic pen or, yeah. like, something. Something that's not going to come off, like, etched in with, like, mechanical oh pencil. Oh, God. Actually, might be a good idea with those write-in cards. Oh, no, because then you'd have... Because then you'd know which ones they are in advance. I'll just hate to sleeve them. Yeah. So you could write on like the disposable ones, but then you'd know you'd either have to sleeve every single card, which I mean, god damn, how many cards does this come with? A lot. A lot, yeah. It's, or you'd know which like ones are. It's like three times the size of a normal deck for each stack. I think like each stack is like two or three times. Yeah, so, so it's, like it's like six or nine times. cards maybe or plus. Say? Let's just say on the side like there's a ton. Uh, <laughs> for three to ten bad people <laughs> <laughs> there's your guidelines right no it doesn't say there's not a, a like a, there's no parts manifest it's just a lot it's, it's a lot yeah and then that's not even including the expansion packs no nope. so i wish i could remember what the other so sleeping the cards is not was. a good idea i feel like there was like a world war ii one or God. something like that like Black probably the Past should have covered it but i thought that they had another one that was like like old but specifically like, yeah specifically yeah. blast from the past covers the titanic syphilis seppuku and even jesus christ <laughs> uh excellent yeah and so does the standard cards right yeah <laughs> it probably just doubles or something but yeah so that joking hazard recommended if you're not easily offended have and uh like party games if you're looking for a better version of cards against humanity joking has it there you go yeah, yeah. cool All right uh, joking hazard recommended that's it we're not syncing audio we don't need to do that <laughs> i know <laughs>